Badrinath from Vidya Jyoti Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. I am from Hyderabad, India. So we've got a small outreach event for students uh, about 7 to 14 years of age. So now I'm doing the first one. Here we've got uh, two mirrors which are placed parallel to each other and the angle between them is zero degrees. So you can see uh, infinite reflections, so you can see a depth inside. And if we increase the distance between these plane mirrors, then you can see it even more deeper. It is just infinite number of reflections. And here we've got uh, a 3D holographic image. We've got four balls which are moving at the same momentum and coming in one point, meeting at one point. So you can see a 3D image. The ball is going up and down. Okay, let me explain and uh, here, uh, our human eye can detect only three colors, which are red, blue, and green. And uh, I can see that color only if it sees for one by tenth of a second. That is called persistence of vision. Now we've got seven colors, and when these are rotated together at a high speed, which is more than the persistence of vision. It seems to be white, which is the visible light. That is because all the colors are moving at high speed. So you can see them white. Now here we've got loss reflection. So I'm going to show that the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle. So here you can see that. So here you can see that the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle, a simple law of reflection. And here I've got a visible light, white color LED source, and I'm using a magnifying glass and a prism here. Here I've got a white color LED source and a magnifying glass and a prism. I'm showing here the principle of refraction, refraction, and the light is passing through when the complex lens, the magnifying glass, and the prism, you can see the dispersion taking place. The dispersion is also a kind of a fraction. And here we've got uh, as well. We can see a number of images when two mirrors are hinged together at 180 degree. We can see one image. As we decrease the angle for to 120 degree, we can see two images. And as we decrease it more to 90 degrees, images so as we keep on decreasing the angle in between the two mirrors the number of images increases. P. Vengal Rao from National Institute of Technology, Warangal, India. So here uh, we are here to demonstrate some basic concepts of light for the school children who are uh, under 14 years. So here we can observe a simple setup to explain the total internal reflection phenomena. So see uh, this is what basic concept of uh, transmission of light through optical waveguides totally reflected into the same medium. So we can observe the refraction effect of light also through lasers here and uh, we can observe the effect of uh, convex lens over here which converts the light at one point and uh, can observe the effect of uh, concave lens so which diverts the light while passing through it so the reverse phenomena if you take the convex mirror which is diverging the light and this is what a concave mirror which are converging the reflected lights at one point so this is what the diffraction. Huh? This is what uh, to explain the diffraction of light when passed through a transmission grating. Sorry, refractive grating. So this is uh, this is what messages uh, pattern. Uh, this is what subtracting or uh, addition of two light signals which are out of phase. So, uh, 
uh, while changing the phase of those signals, we can observe the different patterns of uh, lesages. Lesages picture patterns we can say. So, while varying the frequency of rotation of those mirrors, we can observe the different patterns.